Welcome back to Upper Lusatia for the Back to Basics series, episode 5, with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am down at the store in the New Holland, and I've got some equipment I need to buy. Don't have a lot of money to do it with, um, so yeah, let's have a... <laughs> we'll have a see what we can get. I've been trawling through the various different mods uh, on the Mod Hub to see what's available. I've had a few different uh, suggestions. 8,000? Okay, that's not too bad. What are we up to? 30. Um, I sold... Did I sell? Yeah, sold all the silage bales. They've gone. What I've got on hand at the moment. So, we need a cultivator. And I think I was going to go with the Fortrit because it's going to be... It's fairly cheap, low horsepower requirement and quite wide, I think. For what you get, oh, it's 9,500. Uh, um, 5.2 meter only requires 90 horsepower. Although in the classics pack, it's only 2.5 meters wide though. That's only half that for 3,950. We've got the 3406. I can never remember what it's actually called, the name of the company. It only requires 25 horsepower. Um. Well, we do need a cultivator. Main colour. Let's go with. Should we go with red? We've got the Massey. Let's go with red. Okay, so we've bought that. So that really pretty much. We've kind of covered the cultivator with the cultivator we just sold. That's what I'm going with. Um, but what I'm also looking at is uh, for. Now, where is it? Put it behind the baling technology. Put it behind the tethers. Um, it was the dust. Du no, Duvelsdorf. I think it was Duvelsdorf. Grassland harrow. That a few of you suggested to me, and thank you for that. Um, yeah, baling technology. No, where's that going to be? Did I go past it and not even notice? I would have thought it was on the cultivators, but I certainly didn't see it. Have I not installed it? I could have sworn I did. I obviously don't know what else it would be under. The other thing I do need is a fertilizer spreader sprayer, something along those lines. Uh, because I want to very quickly do field 9 which now unfortunately because I left it I didn't fertilise it straight away and I should have done and I didn't fertilise field 11 and I should have done um, it was one of those things I kind of got straight into it and forgot all about it oh we made my band the weeders there we go it's under weeders 1500 that's a no brainer so the grassland oh we can have two different colours as well no we'll leave that green I think uh, let's buy that so that's going to be for doing all the grass fields because we're going to do a load of silage bales to make a bit more money and we're going to do yeah all sorts of cool stuff there's loads of grass areas i can use thank you to everybody who messaged me to remind me where they all were and, and what fields i can use and that kind of thing so very very helpful indeed um now we've got have we got that one no we haven't got one at all have we that's 700 liters i downloaded and installed the roush the roush one is a 900 liter one for 4,500. The Massey Ferguson's only a 500 litre. Although the Amazon, well, it's only 330. I think I might go with the Roush, you know. The fields aren't massive, and even if I come back and refill, and it's fairly cheap as well. So we're going to go with the Roush MDS 19.1. Let's buy that. So that's three pieces of equipment. What was the last thing I wanted? Oh, I'm going to replace the wind rower actually at some point. I'm not going to do it yet because I didn't bring the wind rower over with me. Um, but we've got three new pieces of equipment now. We've got the Fortschritt cultivator in red. That's going to be for cultivating the normal field, field 11. Say normal field. We've got the grassland harrow. That's going to be for doing the fertiliser states on the grass fields. And the great thing with that is I think you can use it on all of the fertiliser states. Um, so that's, and that's really cheap and very low horsepower. And then we've got this. I like the fact it comes on a pallet as well. Uh, although I can't get it all back in one go. So let's take back the... 
We'll take about the regular regular cultivator. And we'll take about the fertilizer spreader as well, because I want to take that. We're probably going to need to use that in this episode. I'm also going to go and grab some more manure and some water. And I think what I'm going to do in this episode is get the, the greenhouses underway as well, because they might as well be making a bit of money for us. That's not, you know, too bad a bit of thinking. Well, in my defence. It's up here, isn't it? Now, while I was away on holiday, and this is the first episode on this, I did a few different episodes. Uh, guide twos, first looks, uh, the, the fact sheet Friday while I was away. I took my PlayStation away with me. Now, a few of the eagle-eyed among you um, asked why I hadn't done the update because I was still putting videos out. Um, the Upper Lusatia videos and the one I put out on Lone Oak were pre-recorded. So, whilst I have now done the update on those episodes, the update wouldn't have been shown uh, simply because it hadn't been done at that point. Um, just one of those little things. So what I'm going to do is take this back, probably change the wheels over on the Massey. I don't think I can put narrows on this. I don't think I can. Um, we'll get the Massey over on field 9. And hopefully, hopefully, um, we can get a bit of fertiliser on field 9 because that's going to need harvesting. Um, and then I'll probably get this going maybe with the grassland harrow to get the two grass fields I've done with another fertiliser state on. We could do the third tractor but we just haven't got the money. I'm thinking 14,570. We haven't really. Um, right, let's fill this up first. It's going to cost a little bit of money as well. I could have just gone around this side. That's over here, isn't it? I believe so. I say it's not very big. Probably doesn't need to be. So this, I think I'm going to whiz over and I'm going to get the cultivating done. I'm going to fill 11. So must to be quiet going past the fisherman, apparently. He gets quite cross if you scare the fish. I suppose what I could do in this corner is... Why did I think of that? I could have just ploughed this corner as well. I did say I was going to make some adjustments. I suppose what I could have done was just carried straight along this line here, out to the edge. And then when this, that came down to give me a straighter edge on this corner, but it's not too much of a problem. And off we go. Fantastic. Still blown away by everyone's comments, so I think it's fantastic. People seem to be really enjoying this. I know I've said that on repeated episodes now, and obviously as an episode comes out, I get comments left on that one, and you know the whole back to basics kind of thing seems to be going down really well. Let's carry on. Let's go and sort this fertilizer down field nine. Uh, then we'll grab the. I don't know, go and get the grassland harrow, maybe. Um, and then. I don't want to really take out a bank loan. 
I'm just thinking about another tractor because then I could I really could be multitasking I could have one doing the grass fields I could go over and fertilize this one but at the moment I just can't do sorry I can't do too many jobs at the same time um, let's just nip across here shall we it's only a low fence I say grab the hot chip, get a bit more manure in there, grab the water tank and we get the greenhouses underway. Let's this still looks brilliant. <laughs> I've been up a bit narrows on this one. What's that gonna cost me? Uh why's that not registering? That's better. Uh, Customise. So we want. Ah, can you not put narrows on it? Oh, now we're in trouble. That's not twin narrows, that's twin wheels. Which means I can't go out and spray field 9 without damaging the crops. Let me just check something. In tractors under the New Holland. A standard wide... St oh no, I don't have a tractor with narrows. That's a problem. Um, okay, well... I'm wondering whether or not what's a <laughs> this is going to be a game and a half isn't it right let's scroll across what have I got available that we could potentially get uh, there's the 300 series got all of those then we've got the 600s 17,500 for series 600 uh, we could do that, couldn't we? 18 for a 19. They're not too expensive. Or oh, a fortress. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, can you put narrows on this? Let's have a look. I did the review on this and I can't remember. Rear twin standard wheel. No, no. Oh, this is not good. Wheel set up. I can put narrows on the ZT320A. Okay. That's 55 grand, and I could get one for 17.5 there. That's about the cheapest I'm going to get. Although I'd like a bit one of these up, I suppose. What horsepower have these got? 38. 38. 72. That's not too bad for the Bura. That's 18 grand. So the Buka is 38 horsepower. No options on that. Oh. I'm thinking now I might have to do some work on some fields for people. What fields are ready to harvest? Oh, quite a few. I wonder what that would pay. That's going to be a, it's a fair size field, field 8. I'm just thinking if I can get a big chunk of money, so maybe this episode's going to be doing some work for somebody else first. Because as you can see, field 9 is now ready to harvest, but I do want to get at least one fertiliser state on that to give me a bit more off of that let's whiz over let's see what they're offering maybe let's do a bit of work for somebody else I should have just changed the tyres anyway. I can't leave that on <laughs> just running around with twins on the whole time Okay. 
Oh, and Cold Trace is going really well. I don't know why I sounded surprised by that. It should be. Where are we going? Let's build seven. No, I don't want to park in the area where the vehicles spawn. So let's see. 31,000? It's going to take a while to do it, but. Ooh. I'm going to do it. Let's help if I was going to be over the crop. But... Open all up. So what I need to do. Let's put it on. Turn steering. That's better. Okay, let's go. This is going to take a little while. And this is another. This is someone else's field, not mine. I don't own this piece of machinery, so the whole going small and using small machinery. When and if I ever buy a field this size, it will still be done with small. But if a farmer's offering this piece of equipment, can you imagine if I did this with a small harvester? It would take me forever. And there's more grass here as well. Just notice that, provided I don't destroy it all, of course. Which is going to be highly likely now, isn't it? Okay, what I'll do is back up. No, not that way. Right, so cruise control on. Now the good thing as well we're doing fields for other people and I know when it's harvest time it's always a lot better because otherwise you've got spraying jobs and various different things like that to do maybe seeding. But the great thing is we're doing a harvest job. I've always found we're doing contracts for other people, not subscriber contracts but in game ones, is that um, once harvested you've then got all the jobs to get the field ready to go back again to whatever they want to put in it. So you generally speaking you'll get a harvest job followed by slurrying or fertilizing of some description then normally plowing then normally cultivating maybe another slurrying then seeding and so you can do probably five or six jobs one after the other on one field which actually works out really well um yeah this is going to take a little while but there's nothing wrong with that there is grass everywhere around this field i've got to work out how i can get around this Maybe the first few strips is going to be a case of sacrificing a little bit of the crop, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. I may do a little bit of a time lapse. You might just, might just do a jump cut. I'm not too short at the moment because this is going to take a little while. Um, and hopefully, I'll see you when we're a little bit richer. And maybe we can buy another tractor. Maybe that's what's on the cards for this episode. See what I mean about being fluid is that you have a plan in your head of what you're going to do and then when you start out it doesn't actually pan out how you thought it would but that's not too much of a problem. We'll just swing with that and uh, let's see what happens, shall we?
are so close to finished. I haven't done it in too bad time. see what we get because without seasons on as well the payments are higher anyway but you also get the bonuses the time bonuses actually that's something I don't know with seasons on uh, the time bonuses are removed and what you get paid is reduced to make it kind of more realistic payments um, in FS19 did I read it somewhere or did I dream it that there's not going to be time limits there aren't are there because you um you can jump in and out of jobs. I'm pretty sure that was how it was. You can save a game and come out and come back again and carry on with the job. Which is a big change in you know, how you're going to be doing things. It's also pretty cool. I just thought I'd be almost done. I decided to do it um, in strips simply because turning around at the end of every... Uh, where i have done the headlands meant I can keep the harvester going and you can get the job done quicker. Otherwise, you've got to kind of stop and back up and turn around and stop and back up. You know, that way I can keep it going in a kind of snaking fashion up and down. I know it's not necessarily realistic in so much as with a lot of these machines with the headers and harvesters. You would stop and raise, well not stop necessarily, but you would raise the harvester header to do a turn and then put it back down again. So whilst I'm not harvesting mega realistically, generally speaking, when I'm trying to do a contract with a time bonus... Um, I generally do it as quickly as I possibly can. Farm Dog's excited, he's wondering what we're going to get paid, I think that's going to be what it is. I probably should have done that strip next to me because that's got more in it. So hopefully, running down that one, we'll finish off. Let's just raise that up for a second to get around there quicker. Back down again. This should be the one that sees us finished. And then, like I say, what I'll do is I'll show you... Uh, we'll go back into the sign after I've got the payment, and then we'll see what they're offering as the next job. Um, I'm not going to do it this moment, because obviously I've got other things I want to do, like buy a new, uh, buying a new tractor and then getting on with the jobs I said I was going to do, which was kind of the plan for this episode. And then what I'll probably do is off-screen, come back to this field do a few jobs on it so then possibly by the next episode we'll have a bit more money in the bank but what I'll do if I do that is I'll show you um, there'll either be little cutscenes or I'll show you the payments page and the, you know that kind of stuff. like I've done before on various different let's plays just to prove to you guys you know I'm not doing anything dodgy this is going to take each of these little strips now isn't it let's find another one that's got a bit more in Yeah, it's not bad. There we go, that's all it took. That's not bad. 31,612 plus another 10,300 as a bonus. That makes it 41,912. So we now have 54,000 in the bank. Now, this is what I was talking about. If I click back on here, there's a slurrying job available. Once the slurrying job's available, there should be a ploughing mission available. Then there'll probably be maybe the cultivating it doesn't always do all of them then there'll be a seeding one probably another uh, uh, slurrying or fertilizer spreading so we'll come back to doing that let's go and grab this so with 54,000 that gives us a few more options tractor wise but what I'm going to do is whiz back over before I do that check on the cultivating which should be finished any odds and ends that need doing we'll get on with those I mean this field also needs harvesting so I could jump on this this is potatoes Actually, while I'm here, let's have a quick look. I'm not, I'm not going to do it, but I'll say that. I do this all the time, don't I? I get sidetracked. That's 16,000, see? Oh, dear, I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm looking at that, getting the fort strip, you know. If I did a couple more, I could get the fort strip. Because that's 60 grand, isn't it? Pretty much. If I get the one where... I think that, that goes up to 100 horsepower, which isn't too bad. I've already got a Massey Ferguson, so I don't really want to go for a Massey Ferguson. 
I did think about going for one of these small ones just for doing odds and ends. Things like fertiliser spreading, but I do need something with narrows for the time being. So I may well come back to one of these because one of these harvest, excuse me, one of these harvest jobs um, on these fields would pay for one of these outright. So to have a nice little old classic tractor chugging around just doing fertiliser jobs and things like that, maybe pulling your trailer here and there, I think might be quite cool. If we go right way down to the other end though, uh, annoyingly, I got rid of the uh, I got rid of the Hurleyman, didn't I? I did. I've got a small Zetor. Mine that's fifty nine thousand as well. So that's only seventy five horsepower. So actually, the uh, the Fortschritt's got more horsepower for the same sort of money. Little drop nose massy. That's only one hundred and five horsepower. Still quite small. It's not a classic tractor by any means. Although I do like an aggro star, don't I? I've had those before. Slightly larger horsepower. Maybe I should build up to one of those. That's what I'm aiming for. Right, okay, well... I haven't got enough to get the fortress now. Um, let me just check this. <clears throat> I know this is not what you were expecting, so... You know. That looks like it's done. Which is good. That's another step in the right direction. So, I think it's going to be... Let's get this done. Let's do a job. Another one. So today's episode is going to be working for other farmers. I think is how this is going to pan out. So... Slightly different bit of machinery. Let's get this open. Now, rather than this one being a kind of one of my musical interludes where I kind of jump along with the music this is going to be a jump cut a simple this is me starting and then you'll see me at the end because i think that's probably going to be the best way of doing this one i think this is turns on a sixpence as well which is pretty handy that's not the bumps too much though Right then, I'll see you at the end when we're a bit wealthier. So once again, nearly there. We've used almost half the time, which is about normal for a contract. And we'll see what we get. So I was in my mind, the whole time I've been doing this I'm thinking, I could pick up a Massey for about 20,000 with narrows to do various different jobs or I could pick up a Fortschritt with narrows but it's going to cost me three times as much. Like I said before I don't want it to turn out to be just an all Massey farm but I'm not sure what to do. Not bad, 16-6. And we're up to 77. 77,564. That's not bad going for two contracts. For farmers, not subscriber contracts. And this is what I like. The next one is a fertilising job. That pays 12 grand, which is, again, very, very good. But it's using the old wooden slurry tanker. That's fantastic. Trouble is now, I'm thinking. <laughs> this is going to continue. I'm now thinking, oh, I could do that. And I could edge myself up to maybe getting the aggro star, getting the Deutzfar, because I love the way that thing sounds. And I could very, very cheaply get the um, Fiat Agri, which is only about 30,000, but I've used that quite a lot on a few Let's Plays recently. So, um, yeah. 
Let's see what this looks like. I'm just curious. So why does it give you a front weight if you can't use it? That's interesting. I've never used this little thing. Let's turn it on and see what happens. <laughs> that is tiny. Problem as well, it's incredibly hard to see where you've been. Okay, that's not too bad. Looking back the other way. It's also just the way the sun was on it. Now obviously, because this has got... Uh, I'm doing a job, a contract. Um, this, this normally, this little wooden thing, holds hardly anything. Actually, I've just got to allow it to be the width of the tractor, haven't I? Pretty much. Um, and it runs out incredibly, incredibly quickly. So when you're doing a contract, like in-game contract, it doesn't run down. If you look, it's only a thousand litres in the bottom corner and it's not adjusting at all. So if you're new to the game and you're going to be in, doing in-game missions, contracts, jobs, anything like that, it doesn't run down. It's, it just allows you to kind of continue. Um, that's going to be one of those things, I wonder. Again, lots of wondering about FS19, whether or not in 19 they're going to adjust that. Maybe when you're doing contracts you will have to refill things like cedars and slurry spreaders. I don't know. Because there's always been that kind of issue that when you're doing harvests the harvester sort of fills up and then slows down and you can manage to do a massive field without ever having to unload it whether unloading it I think that is going to be part of it isn't it because there's part of the jobs are going to be transporting it as well so you must have to unload to be able to transport it so I would assume that's going to be part of it anyway right um, as I seem to have got sidetracked again as I often do um, I really will see you at the end of this one I promise and I will buy a tractor before the end of this episode <laughs> possibly don't think I've ever used a slurry spreader this small before it's rather cool now I'm assuming I slipped into some kind of trance-like state as I often do um, it would appear um, coming out of my trance that field 7 here to my right has been ploughed as well and it's possible that field 8 has been ploughed too <laughs> so when I said I was only going to do that last job I, I'm, I may have ended up ploughing both these fields um, therefore the money's now up to 137,290 they paid very very well um, I have to say I think that for ploughing was about 16 something and then the bonus as well and that was about 10 or 11 so not bad so I'll come down to the shop the back way and uh, might as well pick up the grassland harrow So that can go off and do that. But we now need to buy our... I said I was going to buy a tractor, didn't I? We're going to go tractor shopping. I've been looking at all the different options available. Uh, and I think I've got enough money, if I wanted to, to get an aggro star. But I think that's a big jump up too quickly. We will get onto an aggro star. Um, one of those. At some point. But if I'm going to do one of those, there's the Fent 300. They're newer tractors, but they are very small, 110 horsepower. Not big horsepower. I'm thinking I'm going to stick with older tractors. I might even go with... I haven't used Z-Tor. I can't remember the last time I used a Z-Tor. If at all. I have got enough money. I could get the Forterra HD. But that, again, might be something I build up to, because that's 127 horsepower. But if you go to that one, you can go to 147. 127, 147, so I could do that. Um, there's also the Fent 500 mod, um, and there's also, there's a Valtra uh, Salmi edition, the, the Finland edition, which I could do. But anyway, I did say I was going to get a Fortress, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
I may come back and get a classic. I may end up with about 10 tractors on this map. I don't know. But this one I'm going to go with. So, plus trailer hitch, yes. Front loader, yes, because I'm probably going to need that. Wheel setup, I'm going to go with narrows for the time being. Room colour, I'm going to go yellow. That's staying the same, and I'm going to get with the beacon. So, 56,800. We have got ourselves a portrait. I've also now got 80,000 left in the bank, which is actually going to be quite handy. I'm probably going to still do some more contracts because there more, are more jobs to be done on both field 7 and 8. But here we are. It looks very peculiar with the narrows on. But I, there's a reason I need the narrows on and that's so I can do that field 9. Yeah, it looks incredibly peculiar with the narrows on. Here's our new tractor. A Fortrit Z320 or ZT320. So let's get in it. I'm going to go over to the farm, pick up the fertiliser spreader, grab that in a bit. I'm going to get a field that looks very peculiar. But I think it fits the map, it fits the area. Whoa, that was close. A nice sensible tractor speed as well. Nothing too crazy. So what will happen in the next episode? <laughs> I am going to get some grassland um, harrowing done. I am going to go and get the manure in the water and I'm going to start the greenhouses, which is what I said I was going to do. We have managed to cultivate our own field 11 and we'll hopefully we are going to get some fertiliser spread over field 9 before we harvest on there. But we have done some contracts for other farmers, a bit of work for other people, which is always very friendly to do. And the width of this is only about 18 metres, I think. It's going to be very hard to see on here, but let's turn it on. Let's say, well, at least we'll get one spray on here. But, as I said, we would buy a tractor and we have. And we have come to the end of another episode. Um, I will get more done on my farm in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>